What's going on everyone, Jeremy here from The Quartering and here's an interesting story that's kind of been flying under the radar, uh, at least from what I can see here on YouTube. And the story is about a Twitch streamer who, uh, let's say, fed her baby on a live stream the natural way. Oh, natural. Uh, and uh, had the clip removed. And uh, it's an interesting because while Twitch is a, a platform for video games, and many of us remember it as that, I think it's important to also acknowledge that Twitch doesn't view themselves like that anymore. And they haven't for a long time. And while it's funny dunking on some of the more wild uh, streamers out there, particularly the ones that you know, bend over and, and have all sorts of <laughs> low cut tops and things like that. You know, the majority, overwhelming majority of the site is still video game streamers, whether it's Apex Legends or Fortnite or PUBG or, you know, whatever. Yes, the IRL community is growing uh, because, you know, it's a great way to make money for doing almost nothing at all. But, uh, you know, Twitch, I think, views themselves they're more interested in that than the video games. Uh, this is an interesting little um, bit of news, a conundrum for Twitch, a website that 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 uh, prides itself on being exceedingly progressive. Before I get into the story, I want to give a huge shout out to this video sponsor, NordVPN. Now you know that I've had some issues while streaming and many other concerns when it comes to data security and NordVPN has stepped up and I've been using their product for several months now and I've been super satisfied. I think in today's internet environment, we absolutely should be strongly considering using VPNs and NordVPN has over 5,200 servers in 60 countries, no data logging. NordVPN has an extension for the Chrome browser, which is lightweight, user-friendly, and from the first click secures your browsing in seconds. They have super fast servers, 24 seven support, and up to six simultaneous connections which means you can connect all of your devices, phone, laptop, and desktop. You can keep access to your favorite websites and entertainment content and forget about any censorship or bandwidth limits. NordVPN is the perfect solution to the incoming Article 13, and it even works in China. A VPN is something I strongly recommend to all of my viewers, so head on over to nordvpn.org slash thequartering and use promo code thequartering to save up to 75% on a three-year plan plus one month free. That's nordvpn.org slash the quartering. Head over there now. Let's get on with the video. So interesting. Uh, last week, a streamer called Heathered Effect, uh, Kent, uh, a streamer with a newborn baby had uh, naturally fed her child during a cast. And Twitch reacted by taking the clip of the feeding down. Coming at a time when many women are facing difficulties on the streaming platform, the removal of the clip has sparked some controversy, and some are questioning whether or not Twitch made the right call. Following the stream in question, a fellow parent celebrated Kent's action on the Twitch clip repository, and this did not go over well at all. Some commenters saw the feeding as an excuse for Kent to pop, pop something out, uh, and exchange for views, and Twitch removed the clip the very same day. In response, Kent posted the clip to Twitter, where she questioned why the platform would react this way when Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood episode aired on Twitch's front page featured a far more direct take on the feeding process. Now, if I... Uh, I did see that Mr. Rogers clip, and yes, there is the whole kit and caboodles out there for you to see. Uh, I think that uh, this does display a little bit of hypocrisy, but I understand why Twitch is so sensitive. And there's more to this story, right? What you're seeing is you're seeing the spin on it, on how it's like, I am woman, hear me roar. Like, you know, hashtag free the nip or whatever. Cool. Um, Look, my personal take on this, not that you asked, is uh, I don't have any problem with it out in public. I don't have any problem. Look, I mean, I think it's reasonable to to ask someone to throw a towel over it. I think that's reasonable. Do I think you should have to? 
Mm, probably not. When you work in an office environment, all the offices I've worked for, uh, for women that have to pump or something like that, they have a special room for them where they can have some privacy. Cool. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know, uh, the major issues. I don't have any problem with it IRL, but the problem is on Twitch, things will be a little bit different. And the question is, did the streamer plan this for some publicity? And I think if you look into her own quotes about it, she did. Video game Kotaku spoke with Kent after these events, and the streamer expressed her surprise in the face of the community's negative reaction. Indeed, feeding is legal in all 50 states. Of course it should be. And social media websites like Instagram allow it on feeds. And Kent suggests that the issues being raised are more about the perceived use of it to gain followers on Twitch than the feeding itself. Well, yeah, I think so. You know, for a website that most of us um, relate to playing video games, um, it's hard to imagine how this fits into that business model, but I can't see a spot necessarily where Twitch has ex explicitly said these days that we are only for video games. Uh, the problem comes in is twofold. One, uh, I'm going to show you her quote where she clearly states that she did this to spark debate. And and um, my, th my thoughts are it was, of course, to get this attention. Uh, and two, obviously, this will be abused. You're going to have people like uh, uh, um, she, she, who, ha, who, she who shall not be named borrowing somebody's baby and being like, oh, I'm going to just try this out even though I don't need to. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Or you're going to have people out there like uh, 20 hour, 24 hour feeding stream. Bring your babies. Twitch allows it. Tune in. You know that's what's going to happen. So that's the problem uh, with allowing any loophole here i don't think that twitch i don't think it's impossible for twitch to come out and say look we support this this is cool you know awesome uh however there's no way to police who's doing it in a natural state and who's doing it simply for promotion and let's be real there will be more of the latter than the former uh, and we just have to have this policy in place period um that's just the way it is now, when you look at some of the Twitch stats after this, of course, the question is, uh, why could she ha how why could she have done it? Oh, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Um, you know, you go from you know average. She's only averaging 110 viewers, right? That's not very many. Uh, but you can see the followers themselves and everything really peaking after this started. All the free press she's getting from websites like. Kotaku and BuzzFeed. Uh, here's the thing. She is an IRL streamer who do who does ASMR live, which is okay, fine. Um, and I agree with some of the statements in this article, which says, being a parent on Twitch isn't easy. As independent contractors, parents have to deal with inconsistent work hours, unreliable pay, lack of health care. Uh, well, you can buy your own health care like the rest of us. Um, a general lack of safety nets should anything go wrong. Streamer, YouTuber, and model, Heathered Effect. Kent took three months off her off after her daughter, Margot, was born last year. Twitch doesn't offer any form of maternity leave. Why would they? What is this craziness? Um, so now she's running another complication. During a live stream last week, she decided to feed Margot while chatting with a friend. On the same day of the stream in question, another clip uh, in which... Kent and her friend discussed uh, modeling, uh, got posted to Twitch called pros uh, Clip Repository. In this clip, Kent was casually feeding her baby, calling no attention to the act itself. The clip's poster, a fellow parent and fitness streamer, goes by the handle Tomination Time, had good intentions, titling this post Normalizing Feeding on Twitch. Uh, it wasn't received well. Received by many of the posters on live stream fails. Some of them who jumped to accuse her of using her children as excuse to flash things and make money. Um, you know, I believe that, you know, this person is probably um, genuine. But again, just like I think it's re I'm not saying you have to. I'm saying I think it's reasonable to just turn off the camera for that five minutes? I mean, how hard is it? Just, I mean, XSplit, OBS, they all allow you to easily 
click turn off your camera. Uh, I do it all the time. You know, if, if I, if I, let's say my wife comes down to it, she doesn't want to be on camera. I can keep streaming and just turn off the camera or something like that. It's, it's absurd to act like, oh, she had no other option. She had no other option, but to do it live on camera. That's absurd. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, of course it's legal. Of course I'm not saying, you know, she's doing anything wrong, but I think the reality is, of course, um, where does it end? You know, if, 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 uh, if you're saying that's natural, well, so is, um, so is, uh, pooping. Should I be able to live stream that because I literally can't shut off my camera? What about taking a leak? I mean, that's natural. It's not, it's not nothing wrong against the law. Uh, should I stream that too? Um, you know, how about, um, I don't know, getting f fitted for, for a bra. How about that? Um, I, I think that to use the, well, it's natural, so it should be f streamed. I mean, uh, I don't think so. Uh, and you go, I want to go and add 10 minutes and that she was on, oh wait, I'm sorry. But if you look at some of the, some of the quotes, if you look at some of the quotes, I'd say, I think that there was some ulterior motives. Uh, we look at, uh, Buzzfeed covering this as well. Um, she checked the community Twitch guidelines beforehand, which means she knew it was basically premeditated, okay? Which banned certain things. Um, I was kind of just using it to test to see if my community would freak out. So you were doing it for shock value. You weren't doing it just because it was a natural thing that had to get done. All right. So you admit that while well, you were doing it to see what your community would say, you were doing it for entertainment value. And I think that quote invalidates a lot of this righteous um, Twitch is for everybody and you should do everything you can rhetoric. Now, in my opinion, look, they allow basically everything else at this point. Are, are we going to waste time worrying what should be streamed and what shouldn't be streamed. Um, can you just um, maybe uh, indicate on your stream that this might happen and that it's for people who are older? You know, I, I think that a 13 year old boy watching that isn't thinking about how it's normalizing things. I mean, there's this world that journalists live in, in the video game world in the video game journalism world uh, where, you know, Apparently, teenage boys and girls are totally rational and, and that they should be understanding that they're being educated here by this. But that's just not the way the world works. And she admits she did it for publicity. She did it for shock value. She didn't do it to go out there and normalize things. And if you check out the feed, she's been on a pretty strong crusade about this all week long. Um... I don't know. I, I mean, look, ultimately, I have to be very careful when I go through these articles because there's uh, pictures that are okay in some places, but not in others. Look, Twitch is for video games. At least it started out that way. I think regardless of what we think or want, Twitch doesn't care about being a video game streaming site. Now, they'll take our money. They're whole star events, but I think they're more interested in the bigger picture. And that is basically being a live streaming television service for anything you want from live stream ASMR to watching feedings to watching playing Apex Legends or watching someone play Pokemon or watching somebody play um, PUBG or Minecraft. These are things that, you know, apparently in today's world are just going to go hand in hand. You can watch a little Minecraft on one channel and if you want to take a break and watch someone uh organically feed their child you know on the other hand that's cool i think this is going to be very slippery uh to enforce for twitch because you know people are going to take advantage of it ultimately i have no problem with it because we'll get to point and laugh at all the people that are are uh, going too far with it on their uh you know their 24-hour feed streams kind of things that will happen, of course. Uh, but it's interesting. I don't think this whole thing is as innocent as uh, all the media outlets are putting it out there, though, which 
of course, we already knew. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.